Hey guys, it's Professor here, and today I wanted to drop a little tip about Adobe After Effects and 4K rendering. Now this isn't gonna be the only way that you can do this, but it's the way that I do it for my 4K visualizers. Um, most of the time when I make a visualizer, I just do it in 1080p and use the H.264 codec, but when we try to use that codec to render a 4K video, it does not fit within the constraints of that encoder type. So I'm going to drop a little tip here on how to export a nice 4K video without taking up a billion gigs of file size on your computer. So let's hop right on into it, guys. Let's begin. All right, guys. So as you can see right here, I've got my background and you can see the little part of the visualizer down here that I have going on. That doesn't matter. We're not talking about how to make a visualizer today. So first things, obviously, you're going to make sure that your composition settings are in 4K, probably with 60 frames per second if you're going to go that far. I assume that's like a standard. So let's add this composition to our render queue. Let's say you got your stuff all set up. Let's go to add to render queue. Now, I keep my best settings, that's fine. That stuff doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter, but that's not what's important in this. Basically, if you try and render something lossless like this, it's gonna be, it's gonna take up like 100 gigs or more. I don't, I don't know, it's gonna be a lot. So, basically, a, a nice default that a lot of people do when rendering for YouTube is they use the QuickTime format and then they use the H.264. If you don't have this, I highly recommend installing QuickTime from Apple on your computer and this will start showing up. But when trying to use the H.264 format, you're going to see this little uh, warning down here. Output file will be resized from this much to 2000 by 2000 to meet format constraints. And that'll be a problem. Hopefully you haven't run into that issue or wasted that time yet. Let's talk about how to fix that. And it's exactly what you saw I had here earlier. I used the MPEG-4 video format with a quality at 100, your audio, I just whatever, your MPEG-4 video. Click OK. Make sure these are set up. Uh, your output audio will probably be default to this. But uh, what's happening is you're using QuickTime, you're using the MPEG-4, and this has gone away, the important thing. Now this will render in a 4K format. So, and this is good to like upload right to YouTube or take it over into Adobe Premiere and edit or use further. But basically that's what you're gonna wanna do when making a 4K video with the QuickTime or just trying to make a file that doesn't eat up so much hard drive space. Of course, okay, choose your spot and then you'll render. Then you'll wait for it to finish. And that's about it. I really hope that this had answered some questions out there or gave some uh, useful information. So, when I rendered out that video, it was, I think it was about five and a half minutes or so. It ended up taking about, I think it was like 24 gigs of file space. Let me check. Now, this isn't gonna be the same for everyone. Obviously, every video, especially with different audio and video settings are different, different colors. Okay, yeah, uh, 24.6 gigs of file space for about a five and a half minute video. That's pretty decent and Honestly, it does what I needed to do to make sure it's ready for YouTube and does not kill my hard drives. Um, if you guys found these useful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Check out more stuff. We often cover audio topics here, but I wanted to prep you guys for when you guys start using After Effects to make your own audio visualizers or any other special effects. Uh, that stuff can really bring uh, eye-catching uh, eye-catching appeal to your songs that you post on YouTube or other things like that and others who are just trying to render a 4k video um, this has been professor check the links in the description listen to some of my music and go check out our FL studios tutorial if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments and we can cover them on another video I'm gonna go edit this and get things ready thanks so much for dropping by guys have a good one peace